Hey guys, in this video, I want to do a quick video on the Xiaomi Mi5 smartphone, which was announced a couple of days ago at MWC 2016 in Barcelona. So this is how this phone looks like. It's a premium phone and, uh, and it's coming at a budget price. This is something really incredible. And uh, if we take a look at its uh, specs here, so uh, first of all, in terms of the display, we have a 5.2 inch screen size with 1080p HD resolution. That is pretty cool, actually, because we don't have a lot of phones coming with 1080p HD resolution. So um, that is nice. You know, 1080p promises to give you a little bit better battery life compared to the um, quad HD display because it has less pixels and all that uh, and you might be able to get more performance compared to other phones with 1080p panel. Um, also, if we talk about the 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 processor here on this phone it comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 chipset uh, which has quad core uh, four cores and uh, uh, it is having a 530 GPU four gigs of RAM and there's also three gigabyte RAM variant so it depends uh, it does have two different variants uh, so uh, I mean with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 plus 1080p display plus four gigabyte of RAM this phone is amazing and by the title of this video you can you can see that I have title is as a uh, it as a Galaxy S7 or G5 killer so uh, the reason why I'm saying that is that actually we do have some um, some of the benchmark score of this uh, phone it, it, it scores around 140k uh, which is almost 10,000 more than the LG G5 uh, which scores around around something like 120k uh, and the Galaxy S7 which scored uh, around, no, no Galaxy S7 scored around 120k and the LG G5 scores around 130k so still this phone outperforms both S7 and the G5 when it comes to the Antutu benchmark that is pretty impressive actually and let's just come back to the specs here go back to the specs and talk a little bit more about uh, it and uh, yeah the battery is 3000 million power equivalent to the Galaxy S7's battery but then again it has a 1080p HD display so uh, we have chances that it will perform better than the S7 when it comes to battery and also looking at the camera we have a 16 megapixel camera with dual LED flash f2.0 aperture size this is the same sensor as the uh, Huawei Mate 8's camera sensor you know so I do personally own the Huawei Mate 8 so I know that this camera is not overly impressive um, I'm pretty sure that uh, the uh, S7 will do a better job than this camera especially when it comes to low light so Galaxy 7 has a really big sensor size f1.7 so it's gonna have some awesome quality especially in low light uh, and uh, good thing here is that this Chinese phone can record 4k video uh, as well as slow motion video at 120 FPS we also have 1080p HD video capabilities front camera is 4 megapixel I'm pretty sure that front camera will also going to be able to record uh, videos up to 1080p you can also notice that this this phone has Gorilla Glass 4 uh, which is uh, of course you know the phones of this this year are coming with Gorilla Glass 5 so this is something from the last year and uh, that is something worth mentioning and uh, also according to the Xiaomi's official statement they're saying that this phone can uh, have can reach its peak brightness while at the same time being 17% battery efficient that is pretty amazing and that is all because of that 1080p display so they are pretty intelligent of uh, to you know to use a 1080p HD display instead of a quad HD I mean yeah quad HD is a nice display but still uh, 1080p is also pretty good and if it's gi giving me a good battery life then I don't mind having a 1080p HD screen compared to a quad HD display and uh, the only drawback that I can see here on this specs page is that it doesn't have the micro SD card slot for storage expansion so you have to rely on the internal memory only so you can also see that it, it comes with Android 6.0 Marshmallow with MIUI 7 UI and uh, that is cool that is very very cool but you cannot convert the external memory into inter internal memory because it doesn't have the SD card support so that's why Samsung included the SD card in the Galaxy S7 to take the advantage to take advantage of this uh, uh, feature that we have with the marshmallow and also if we take a look at the colors of course it's going to be available in different colors black white and gold uh, we do have the fingerprint uh, touch built into the uh, home key so again taking a look at this picture you can see that it does have a home button uh, which will going to act as a as a home button of course 
and uh, of course as a fingerprint sensor you can interact with this button by just touching it you don't have to press it so it gonna, it's going to act as a capacitive uh, touch button so that is pretty cool and uh, this is how the build quality looks like it comes with gloss and metal combination uh, and it is a little bit curved so it looks like a mini note 5 to be honest but um, but yeah that's that that's why I was calling this phone as a as a you know Samsung lookalike or Galaxy S7 lookalike so uh, yeah but, but the good thing that I like about this phone is its price and I'm pretty excited about this phone I might be able to get it um, you know uh, pretty soon because tomorrow is gonna be launched officially so I might be able to get it and make some speed test videos for you guys so yeah these were my quick uh, uh, look at these were the quick look and impression uh, of the uh, Xiaomi Mi5. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and be sure to check out the sources down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.